population. So let's go ahead and look at this. A company measures product awareness compared with advertising costs in eight different markets. The results are given below, the awareness index and the advertising cost. Now, if you were to look at X and Y, which one would you say is the independent or the dependent variable? What would you think comes first? Well, if you look, they have to advertise for there to be awareness. So we would put advertising index as X and the awareness index as Y. Now, the first question says, determine the strength of the correlation. Now, when it talks about the strength of the correlation, it's asking you to find R. So we're going to have to put in some data. And to do this, we're going to go to mode, stat, and choose A plus BX. Now our X, 25,000, 17,000, 65,000, 12,000. Go ahead and put this data in your calculator now. And once you get X in, you need to move over and do the same to Y. And if you notice, the two should line up. When you're ready, go back to the home screen. Now we need to determine the strength of the correlation between advertising costs and awareness. So we do shift one, and we're gonna go into five regression and look at R. And I find that we have a very high correlation at R equals 0 0.99. Now we don't put 0 0.98 because the six makes the eight round up. Next one, it says find the line of best fit for the data using the least squares method. Well, we need to find what A is and what B is to do this. So we're going to go ahead and do the shift one, five. First, we're going to look at A and I find A is 3.14. Do the same with B. Oh, and B is this really crazy number and I'm not quite sure what to do. It's got this negative five. Now what this negative five means is that it's going to be a very small decimal. In other words, we're going to see 0 0.0000. Now if you see, there's five zeros, which correlates to that negative five. Seven, four, eight, eight, one. Now in this case, we're going to go to two digits that are not zero. So in this case, we're going to do B is 0 0.000075. In other words, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 5. This is going to be kind of difficult, but that's all right. We're going to make it through. Now, there might be another way that we can do this. The other way is each of these end in zeros. So if I wanted to rewrite some of my data, I could say averaging costs, advertising costs in zeros and then just say that it's going to be in thousands and we can mark off each of these from the numbers. Now this is really important because this will change what my B is. Let's see what happens if it changes A as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Shift one, we're gonna go into our data and we're going to change it 25, 17, 65, 12, 45, 72, 34, and 36. Now, go back to our home screen, shift 1, 5, and let's see if A changes. A doesn't change. It's still 3.14. The intercept won't adjust. The only thing that will adjust is our B. So shift 1, 5, and now we're going to hit B. And what we find is instead of putting all of this, B is now 0 0.075. Much, much easier to do. And if you notice, when we took off three zeros, it would be the equivalent of taking off three zeros here. So let's go ahead and write the line of best fit. And we get Y equals 0 0.075X plus 3.14. 
Now we're not going to worry about sketching a graph of the data because we're not looking at that at the moment. We will be looking at that a little bit later on. The last question says, what amount must be spent on advertising to get a product awareness level of 6.4? Okay, so now we're saying that we want a Y of 6.4. So we're going to put that in the equation. 6.4 equals 0.075x plus 3.14. So in order to solve this, we need to start by moving the 3.14 over. So I'm going to do 6.4 minus 3.14, and that gives me 3.26 equals 0.075x. Now to solve, because x is being multiplied, we need to divide by the same number. So divided by 0.075, and we get that x should be 43.47. Now, remember that we had the advertising costs in thousands and we changed it to whole numbers. So when we reply, we need to say that our advertising costs will include those zeros. So we expect them to spend 43,470 dirhams on advertising to get a product awareness level of 6.4. And if you look, that's pretty close to what our data already suggests.